Hey, Frank. I am quite... Hello, Professor. May I speak with you? Yes. You seem to hold Edelgard in high esteem. That is my impression, at least. Yes. Well, now, that is not what I expected you to say. You clearly have high standards. And what is your opinion of me? I am at least her equal, am I not? Be honest. Do not hold back. Pretend that I am just a regular person. Not this scion of a noble house. Evenly matched? Me? With her? I was just being modest before. Honestly, I have always prided myself on being superior to Edelgard. But evidently, that is not your perspective. Hmm. I suppose there is only one thing to do. I must demonstrate my excellence. Precisely. You cannot stop me. I will prove that you have drastically underestimated me. You think I could ignore such a slight upon my honor? Not likely. Come, Professor. <laughs> we will begin with battle. Edelgard's skills in combat are no match for mine. I heard that just the other day, she defeated a demonic beast without assistance. Well, anything Edelgard can do, I can do better. And in half the time. Professor, you can be my eyewitness and timekeeper. Here we go! Two at once? That's... well, it will be fine. I can't do it! Yes, you can. It seems you have saved my life. I... Thank you, Professor. Okay. A result should please you. Oh, 
Oh, God, go see, let's see, can't wait. I fell. I'm getting closer. Enlightening. I am closing in on expertise. Professor. 
Our professor is certainly adventurous. What? Yeah. What a spl- Is that- Ah, it's clear to me now. As long as it makes me strong. Alright. Time to go. Go out. Hey there. I'm that just now. I'm not sure. What the? Maybe.
Carlos. Uh. Hey you. Here's Here the story. Go. No. my voice down this is come for papa goes thank you lady bernadetta i will take my leave Show her around a bit, but strangers are just so nerve wracking. <laughs> oh, yeah? How about when I first met you and I wouldn't come out of the corner or even uncover my face? Actually, now that you mention it, it's funny. Once I started talking to you, I stopped feeling scared. <laughs> I wonder why. You know, Professor. You might be the first person I've been able to speak to normally since I got here, and I have no idea why. Oh, okay. I'm happy about it too. When we first started out here, we had to do drills outside. I skipped those every chance I got. It's a terrible idea going out in the forest with all these people you don't even know. Ah, to you though, that's a we big actually make people. It class now. I'm grateful for that. I don't know what I'd do if you weren't here. Miss Ally. <sighs> Sorry. I'm okay. I am okay. I'm doing just fine. I feel safe here, thanks to you. What? You, you saw that? Why would you see that? You were watching me? Yeah, that cross the line, Professor. Singing? Me? Why would I be singing? I'd never be singing! Oh, I've never been so humiliated! Useless, worthless, unmanageable! Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bouquet! No matter how powerful our enemies may be, there is no need to worry so long as we're with Catherine, the mighty wielder of Thunderbrand. You mean you don't know? My weapon is called Thunderbrand. It's one of the hero's relics. A long, long time ago, the goddess bestowed divine weapons upon ten heroes, which were passed down to their descendants. It's an honor to wield, but I'm afraid there won't be any chance for that today. Our mission is to help clean up the aftermath, not to fight. One must wonder why Lord Lenato would incite such a reckless rebellion. It all goes back to the tragedy of Dusker. I remember that day well. No one saw it coming. Roughly four years ago, the King of Fargus was murdered by the people of Dusker. 
I believe that about sums it up, correct? To put it simply, yes. But there's more to that story. They had accomplices within the kingdom as well. Lord Lenato's son, Kristoff, was one of them, and so he was handed over to the church for execution. Speaking from the church's perspective, we simply passed judgment according to our doctrine in place of the kingdom, which was in complete chaos. Whatever the truth behind that incident may be, Lord Lenato has harbored resentment toward the church ever since. Well, to be more specific, his grudge isn't only against the church. It's also against the one who turned Kristoff over to them. Report! The enemy is approaching. They can't be avoided. Their numbers are far greater than we predicted. They use the fog to slip past the Knight's perimeter. It looks like our mission just changed, Professor. Everyone, prepare for battle! Okay, I will. I need to act out, I guess. This is so funny. Oh, I mean. With this fog, it's impossible to tell where the enemy might be. Or how many of them there are. The enemy could be trying to surround us, but they shouldn't have enough soldiers to form a tight circle. Take down anyone who breaks through the fog, and let's push through! That smell. It's fresh blood. It seems the battle has already started within the fog. Proceed with caution. Wait for them to enter your field of view. You think we're just gonna do nothing while you... Lord Lenato doesn't deserve such sadness and anger. Now it's your turn to suffer. Lord Lenato, please don't die. I'm sorry, but I don't believe Lord Lenato has the strength to carry on. I won't let you anywhere near Lord Lenato.
There's nothing left to hide you or the filthy central church from the judgment of the goddess. Okay. Lost all sense of justice. You want to fight me? So be it. I'll send you to meet your goddess. You have been deceived by that witch. I will show you the truth. That vile woman. Christoph, forgive me. I never thought I'd see Lonato meet this fate. Well done, everyone. Let's gather our troops and go. My thank you so much. Damn it, it was all so pointless. I've never seen so many people utterly heartbroken. Mm. Forcing innocent citizens to risk their lives. That man was not a noble, but a monster. What could have pushed Lord Lenato to this point? Yeah. Oh, Everyone was a bit shaken by the militia fighting alongside our enemies. 
If only everyone could face reality so unflinchingly. The commoners who allied themselves with Lord Lenato believed they were fighting for a just cause. It would be disrespectful to consider them simply victims when they died for what they believed in. Still, we have no choice but to eliminate those who cling to unreasonable ideas of justice. Even if our enemies are the gods themselves, we must never lose sight of our goal. I'm surprised to hear you say that. Really, I'm just like Lenato. I, too, will be the sort of ruler who's willing to risk the lives of my citizens in service of a higher cause. It's not possible to change the world without sacrifice. Dying for the greater good is not a death in vain. Professor, I'm afraid this incident is far more serious than anticipated. I found this on Lord Lenato. It's a note that mentions a plan to assassinate Lady Rhea. We can't tell who sent it, so the source is suspect, but the content is too disturbing to ignore. We must report this to Lady Rhea right away. I hope that it's nothing. Well, it's nothing. It's nothing, alright? I am glad to see that you have returned safely. The goddess is gracious with her divine protection. But it was not only her divine protection that shielded you, was it? You are just as skilled as I had hoped. I am not so sure. I heard some of the students were hesitant about fighting militia. However, we must punish any sinner who may inflict harm upon believers, even if those sinners are civilians. I pray the students learned a valuable lesson about the fate that awaits all who are foolish enough to point their blades towards the heavens. Our real concern is what Catherine reported. The secret message that was in Lord Lenato's possession. It contained a deplorable plot to target the Archbishop on the day of the Goddess's Rite of Rebirth. The plan seems unrealistic at best, but a threat is a threat. We must maintain constant vigilance. To that end, I would like for you and your students to help with security on the day of the ritual. That is most reassuring. You have my gratitude. The rite of rebirth is of paramount importance. It is when the Church of Seros and its believers unite to pray for the return of the Goddess. The Archbishop and I will be confined to the Goddess Tower once the ritual begins. Of course, the Knights will be on high alert as well. But there aren't enough of them to keep watch on every corner of the monastery. It is far from ideal to be forced to mobilize students, but the gravity of this situation requires that we all bend to avoid breaking. While there is no need to fear for my safety, we cannot turn a blind eye to those who would blaspheme so heinously. With any luck, this will all be for naught. Still, be on your guard. What do you still say? Some walk. Yes, so. Temple fall. Like, well. Part one White clouds. Blue sea moon. The goddess's rite of rebirth. As the sun grows stronger and the nights grow ever shorter, the blue sea star returns to the sky once more. Believed to be the goddess's home, her followers look to the star and commence celebrations of her rebirth. On the grounds of Garag Mach Monastery, a grand ceremony is held in honor of this much anticipated event. Every true follower of the Church of Saros is sure to be in attendance. Thanks. Okay. 
Our mission this month is to patrol and set up defenses to stop the assassination plot. <laughs> I wonder if an assassination attempt is truly the goal of our enemy. Yeah. Makes sense. Yes, I think so too. A barely concealed secret message trying to distract us from whatever's really going on. Sloppy, to say the least. And while everyone is out searching for a phantom assassin, they'll be free to accomplish their true goal with ease. The monastery houses many valuable weapons. Perhaps that is their aim? I hear the monastery has a treasure vault, too. Seems like the sort of place a foe would like some alone time in. Garrig Mach is immense. And not just above ground, but below as well. Perhaps their aim lies beneath the monastery. It seems to me that we should search the monastery for a clue as to what the enemy might be after. Of course, we must never underestimate the need for preparedness, in case a battle should ensue. A secret meeting, Professor? Oh, we haven't been introduced. I am Shamir. Oh, Shamir is one of the Knights of Salos, and this young man is... I work for Lady Rhea, and I'm Shamir's apprentice. Oh, the name's Cyril. Yep, she's teaching me about the bow and the sword and all kinds of stuff. I've got to protect Lady Rhea, so that's why I've got to learn all I can from Shamir. Okay. Cyril adores Rhea. That aside, if you need anything, ask. Okay. Time for that spoiler. Yes, but I will put it against that album. Oh, so it's a hero's relic. Quite so. The stone within the sword. A glow of red. Hmm? Oh, it is nothing. Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you, people. you spend too much time roaming the monastery. If you're looking for something, try less aimless wandering. Do you even know who the enemy is? You can't know why without knowing who. It's yeah. none of my business anyway. I'm just here to take care of enemies who get too close. 